Hello everyone, this is Professor Janak Vadaki. I welcome you all for a session on Introduction to Computer Aided Manufacturing. At the end of this session, uh, you will be able to understand the meaning of CAM, elements of CAM, concept of automation and various methods of automation. So let us start exploring the meaning of CAM. CAM is an abbreviation of computer aided manufacturing. Manufacturing word is at the center stage and the manufacturing in general is termed as converting raw materials into useful products. And when I say computer assisted or computer aided, the basic understanding of that is taking assistance of computer's capability to perform the task with speed and accuracy. So when we combine these two words and ideas, it becomes the underlining philosophy of computer-aided manufacturing. So computer-aided manufacturing means performing manufacturing-related activities using computer's speed and accuracy. So let us explore which are the activities which falls under the umbrella of manufacturing activities in a manufacturing organization. There are four major subcategories of activities which are termed as manufacturing activities. Let's see which are that. The first is PPC activities. PPC stands for production planning and control related activities and sub activities in that area are routine, scheduling, expediting etc. Second category of manufacturing Second activity is material processing. Various processes like machining, casting, forming, heat treatment are termed as material processing activities. Third activities are quality inspection and control. So inspection of raw, semi and finished materials and preparation of process control charts are the activities belongs to this category. And fourth category is material management in which handling, transportation and storage of material related activities are involved. So these are the four more major categories of manufacturing activities generally performing manufacturing organizations. So when our objective is to perform these operations or activities by using computers that becomes the domain of the computer aided manufacturing. So based on how these manufacturing activities are performed using computers that makes up the philosophy of computer aided manufacturing and these four are termed as the elements of CAM. Let us look at that elements one by one. The first element of CAM is computer aided material processing. That means when the basic activity of manufacturing of material, material processing is performed by using computers, that becomes the domain of CAM known as computer aided material processing. Another domain is computer aided inspection and quality control. Third element is computer aided material handling and fourth is computer aided process planning. Now each of these activities are to be performed by using automatic machines or softwares. So CNC machine, computer numerical control machines are an important element, sub element of the first element of computer aided manufacturing that is computer aided material processing. Similarly, CMM, coordinate measuring machine and machine vision systems are the important sub elements of the computer aided inspection and quality control. Robots and AGVs are used for computer aided material handling and various types of CAPP systems are the integral part of the computer aided process planning. Now the philosophy behind using computers in manufacturing activity is to perform activities automatically. 
how can we perform activities and why can we why we have to perform activities automatically that ultimately we want to incorporate speed and accuracy in the manufacturing whatever is being manufactured it has to be manufactured with speed and accuracy so we have to minimize the human intervention in the manufacturing activity so some systems are developed which will perform that activities automatically and that has given rise to an important concept of automation and nowadays it has grown up to a level where it itself has become an area of technology and it has it is termed as industrial automation so let us explore the concept of automation so when i say automation the very basic understanding of automation is when an activity machine or entire system perform its task or operations automatically without human involvement it is known as automation so automatic operations without human involvement is the main idea behind the automation now the extent up to which the automation is incorporated or the extent up to which the human involvement has been restricted defines whether the automation system is of semi automatic type or fully automatic type let us understand that when only few activities are performed automatically it is termed as semi automatic system and when all the activities are performed automatically it is termed as full automatic system or fully automatic system Now, after understanding the basic idea of automation now let us understand how automation can be incorporated or what type of systems can there be the technology used behind developing the automation system are basically categorized into hardwired based automation and softwired based automation hardwired based automation system is again categorized sub categorized into two areas the first is mechanical type hardwired based automation system and another is electrical type hardwired based automation system so in mechanical type system various types of joints linkages cam and follower systems are used to build up a mechanical system which ultimately perform the operations automatically and the example of this system are capstan turret lathe automats transfer lines etc and in electrical type of hardwired automation system electrical circuitry along with electrical motors as actuators are used to build up a manufacturing system and nc machines and electrical circuit based <coughs> systems are termed as electrical type hardwired automation the second category of automation is software based automation again this category is subdivided into two major areas based on the level of intelligence used the first is electronic circuit based software based automation system which offers low level of intelligence and the examples of this are plc and scada based systems microcontroller based mini computer systems and cnc machines and dnc machines are the example of electronics based software based automation system second category is micro electronics and software based system and that offers high level of automation period high level of intelligence is incorporated into the system and the examples of that are robots automated guided vehicles flexible manufacturing system smart machines and self diagnostic machines etc okay friends so based on whatever we have discussed so far let us explore try to explore whatever you have understood i will ask you a question and you have to select the best suited answer for that okay so be ready for the question the question is capstan 
and turret length belongs to which category of automation system? Your choices are manual machine, semi-automatic machine, fully automatic machine and none of the above. You have 5 seconds to ponder upon. Okay, let me help you out. The answer is semi-automatic machine. B. And the explanation is capstan and turret lathe belongs to a special category of lathe machine wherein some systems to perform some of the machining related activities are incorporated. The activities like material loading, unloading, tool changeover, feeding of the tool are performed automatically while the other activities like loading of the major workpiece bar, then inspection, then tool setting are carried out manually. Clear everyone? Fine. So thank you all for your patience listening and your participation. Thank you all.